Hi, welcome back to this lab. We're setting up a scenario in which we're enforcing strong authentication uh, to access a Windows system, but also to do privilege elevation uh, in the context of applications or desktops. This is part two. We're going to be using Active Directory, uh, Certificate Services, Centrify Software, and a YubiKey. So um, <clears throat> now we need to make sure that we have uh, the Centrify building blocks, right? So uh, from a previous uh, lab, I have a Centrify zone, only has Linux systems on it. You can have Windows systems as well. But before we do this, let's uh, examine a few things. To keep things very simple, all I'm going to do is give my user the ability to run this management and to elevate to a privileged desktop. Well, the problem that we want to solve is today there's too much uh, local administrator access just for the purposes of Windows administration. With one application, uh, I'm going to illustrate one application. You can have multiple in which you can enforce the least privileged pro uh, you know, principle of security. But also, if you need a desktop, we're going to use a desktop as well. So first and foremost, let's prove this, right? So if I am uh, uh, Lisa uh, and I want to launch this management, right? Um, let's see if we can get uh, disk. Let's see if that uh, pops up on the search. Yeah, right there. If I want to launch this application as Lisa, right? Um, and let's just open the, the file location and I want to run it as a different user. Right? Um, what you see is that she's going to get, hey, you don't, you don't have any rights, right? But uh, part of her job may be to work with volumes, right? So she needs that application. I'm not want to make it um, her a member of uh, the local administrators. I want to make her, um, you know, I don't want to give her that right. So the easiest way to onboard this application is to run it, right? And we will go to, um, uh, you know, to the Centrify console. We can go to the Windows right definitions right here and notice this applications node. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, right click here. And I'm going to do a new Windows application, and I'm going to call it Disk Management. Right? I'm going to add a criteria. And, you know, it's very simple to just import the process. I already have it in here. It should be somewhere. So let's take a look. It's uh, going to be on MMC. There you go. Disk Management Console right there. So this is the application right there. That's one way to launch the application. There's several ways to do it. I'm just going to add this one to keep the video short. I'm going to allow this user, in this case now going to the Run As tab, to run it as the local administrator, and I'm going to prompt for authentication. I've given the user or the member of the role the ability to launch only that application as administrator. That means that once you're here, you cannot get in trouble, go to websites, you know, get your, your, your hash uh, taken. Uh, that is a great security posture, but allows the user to be productive. Another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to give uh, a desktop to the user, right? So let's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and give him an admin desktop. Perhaps this is a user that does need to perform administrative duties, but we want to make sure that this person needs to elevate. And when they elevate, we're going to uh, require a strong authentication. So I'm checking the same box. And that's it. All I need to do is create a role at this point. I'm going to create a role. Let's call it, um, you know, demo role, right? I can control which times this this is going to be available. We're going to pick every day, and uh, we're going to allow the user to have um, remote login. So that means that the person can only access through RDP. And uh, once we create this role. Uh, set up the attributes. All we need to do is give this role some, um, you know, some rights. I'm gonna right-click here. I'm gonna add a right, and uh, I have the admin desktop right here, and this management, and press OK. You can alternatively do this with, um, you know, uh, using PowerShell as well. And I'm gonna add some PowerShell to the blog so you can see how it's done. Um, then when the role is created, I can assign it anywhere I want. So I can do a role assignment and assign this role to my user. I don't have many computers here. Ideally, you would have a computer role for this, but I'm going to do this demo role and I'm going to assign it and notice that you can assign this uh, permanently or temporarily. So I'm going to assign this role 
to Lisa. Right? Now it's done. The last thing I need to do is, because my machine is not in the zone, is add it to a zone. And for this, I need the Centrify bits uh, to install uh, the Centrify agent for Windows, right? So um, this can be automated, but let's take a look if I, if I have the bits here. I should have them. And here's the agent. So I'm going to install this, this particular agent here. Uh, this does require, uh, require a, a reboot, though. So I'm going to add the access components right here. They will be installed in the local hard drive. And um, I'm going to go ahead and, and do that. Once I do this, it's going to run the agent configuration wizard, right? So in this case, it's going to uh, uh, walk me through the process of joining a zone. Once I join the zone, that what I expect is a pop-up saying, hey, you're not allowing domain administrators log in here. Because once uh, it's in the Centrify zone, only people that are authorized can log in. This will exclude domain administrators. So this is what makes the solution very, very robust. And here it is. It's asking, hey, you know, you're gonna, are you gonna let leave the uh, domain admins left out? Um, I don't, I don't want to do that. So I'm gonna allow allow them to log into the to the box. So once I do this, the machine is gonna restart, and that's it. So we've uh, gone through the process of creating a role. Uh, we added an application write, a desktop write. We assigned the role to the principal, and now we added the machine to the zone. In the next video, we'll take this for a ride and make sure that uh, it's, it is working.